Almost a year ago, a Colorado Springs nightclub became the scene of another American mass shooting. One that had been stopped short in part by the actions of a U.S. veteran. WGN Sean Lewis explains. It's inside a place dedicated to preserving history that we find living history. Being told by a person dedicated not only to his country, but to those who live around him. Manage chaos. That's what I was trained to do. Rich Fierro is a retired U.S. Army major. He served four tours in his 15 years, three of them in Iraq, another in Afghanistan. And yet... Everybody to our left got shot. It's his time as a civilian for which we know him the best. At least two heroic people inside the club confronted and fought with the suspect. Everybody was wounded, and it was everywhere. He was inside Club Q in Colorado Springs the night a gunman came in November 19th, 2022. I knew those sounds. And opened fire. There's a distinction when you hear that clink and, and you smell that. It's, it's there. It's happening. Fierro was there with his wife Jess, his daughter Cassie, and her boyfriend Ray, supporting one of Cassie's best friends. 19 people were injured, and Ray was one of five people killed in that attack. He was... Um truly the best person I ever had the privilege of knowing. It just changes you forever, period. It's a night that Rich and his family are still trying to process. It's going to be with us forever. Not only because of what they went through, but for what he did that night. You don't know how you're going to respond. Because when the shooter, armed with a 9mm pistol and an AR rifle, came in to that LGBTQ nightclub... This guy was intent on killing all of us. Rich and two others rushed toward the 22-year-old to take him down. That person tried to shoot me, but his weapon didn't have any rounds in it. It was dark, you know, and, and I took his weapon from him, and then I proceeded to try and shoot and kill, and, like, and I used his weapon as a tool. His training as a soldier, he says took over. When you're at war, we're all expecting something to happen at some point or, or some way, and people are out there trying to kill you, actively trying to kill you. You're a target. In that room, none of us were targets. All of them were innocent people. Wyatt had just got his boyfriend saying happy birthday to him, and he's killed. My daughter loses her boyfriend. They're best friends, and they lost their significant others together in the same room at the same time. Those are just things that go beyond anything you can ever think of. Since the shooting, the Fierro family business, a brewery in Colorado Springs, has seen a lot of support from the community. And it became a family thing. It's the reason for their trip to Chicago, attending this beer culture summit. This is her baby. And, and this thing... He calls happened. himself the pretty face of the company. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to talk business, and on this night... A note of heroics for a night that made national headlines and brought a soldier's training abroad to bear at home. Everyone in there did something heroic. So there's no one hero. And at the end of the day, out of all of us, with Thomas, myself, Treya, we still lost five folks. It is a sobering reminder for him of the importance of community. I just hope that people would see vets as a wide rainbow of things. I'm not a person that looks for glory or any of that other stuff I never have. Um, I look for people around me to be better, and, and I hope that that's the only thing I can do, and that's what I, I try to, you know, from this incident, I try to, to get something positive out of it. Is, it's more for folks to just be nice to each other and just take care of each other. It's a community, right? That's WGN Sean Lewis reporting. In June, the Club Q shooter pleaded guilty to multiple charges. The judge sentenced him to five consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. Join WGN for Veterans Day tomorrow as Sean hosts our Veterans Voices special. We're bringing you inspiring stories of Chicago veterans tomorrow night at 630.